Welcome to another exciting episode of Doug's Electronic Repair Bench. Uh, good afternoon, YouTube. Back with you once more. Begin on this uh, bench wiring project. I am. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how to proceed, but I think the first thing to do is to take a take off the uh, bariac, take that apart. I want to take off the cord and run a new wire from here to here to power the bariac, and that's going to be step one. So uh, first, I got to clean this off a little bit. There's all kinds of junk on here. Get things out of the way. Uh, meter goes over there. This is going to go away. So I need to pull that out. And get rid of that. And let's see what else we got here. Get this out of the way a little bit. This, uh, not sure where I'm going to put these at now because I've got that other a uh, pair of uh, side cuts maybe up here might work out pretty good this needs to be how oh, that hurts <laughs> needs to be out of the way a little bit let's try putting it up here out of the way here we go now everything's out of the way like that get some of this junk out of the way all right as I said, the first thing to do is going to be the take the uh, uh, bariac out and rework it in preparation for the new um, I don't know how many of these I got. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm going to need another one for sure. So, get that out of there. I just got too much stuff here in the way. I don't know why I've got so much stuff, but I do. And it's all in the way. So, let me get the uh, periac off first. Uh, get some more, more stuff out of the way. Just moving it from one side to the other, but you know, whatever it takes. Use my close up camera here in a little bit, I think. So I get to wiring stuff, or unwiring stuff, however that you want to say it. That may be a little more difficult than I thought. I think I'm going to need an extension for that. And it's located here. No, actually. I think it's better to use this one here. Much better, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. Keep losing my extra clip there. That may need to be a bigger screw put in that because it does not seem to be uh, working as well as it should. This is just a little harder to get to because of this doggone lamp. I'm going to hang that out of the way a little bit. I can't. I'm not killing everything. And this needs to come out of the way. There we go. Yeah, that's 
that. Alright. We now have that. Get rid of this. Not rid of it, but put it back here at times. Now, slide this over here. Disconnect the uh, output. I think that wire there will come out too. I wanted to route it a different way anyway. So, about that. And we have the cord, which is going to be pain in the butt, but it's got to come out too. I guess if I wasn't standing on, probably it would come out a lot easier. Let's get that out of there. Power cord has to come off. Uh, that may be a trick. I don't know. Um, that's just the wire going from the output. Okay, that's the fused output. Actually, that's just what it's supposed to be. Um, this is the wire coming from the variac. Sure, if this will untwist, I think it's a crimp type instead of a twist type. So that's a problem. Let's get the uh, close-up camera going here a little bit so we can see what we're looking at. Partly, I want to do this for my reference. All right, we can see here what we're looking at—a jumble of wires, actually. Okay, power cord comes in here, goes around to the, it's switched on the, it's, it's looking like it's switched on the neutral. Okay, no, I, I take it back. It's a double, double pull switch. So that's not a problem. Um, both of the positive, or the hot and the neutral is switched, it looks like. So that's not a big deal. I think what we're going to do is cut these and also they'll come out easier. Um, that's the plan anyway. I think uh, this is going to be our, our green wire. Of course we'll have to have an input for the green so we'll do that too. So um, there's our power or our pilot light. Again, I don't know how many how many different uh, sections that toggle switch has on it, but it looks a little different than the ones I've seen. Uh, there's our outlet for the variac output. And um, so what I'm going to do here is cut some wires and come back and show you what I've done and uh, go from there. So stay tuned. Oh, I'm back again. I, as you can see, the uh, 
power cord has been removed. Slick as a whistle. The strain relief hasn't been taken off yet, but there's the uh, cover. You see, I, I marked the neutral and the hot side of the switch so as I'd know for sure how that goes back on. Um, not sure I'm even going to use that strain relief, but I may try. For for this uh, hole here, it's going to have the um, wire for the relay as well as the wire for the power, which will go right to that switch right there. Obviously, I'm going to have a little problem running the wire with the power on, but that that can be. I've got a light on this uh, here, so I can use that. Uh, it stays on even without the, as you can see. So, um, the rest of this will stay put. Uh, basically, I'll run a wire from the um, power from the switch to here. Got the hot side, got the neutral on that side. The ground will go back to this, this connection here, which I'm going to take off apart and clean up. Because it's going to have um, three wires on it when I get done. The, the green wire from the earth ground on the switch. The green wire from that goes out to the... I'll oh, see I can eliminate that if I want to. Because this is going to... This has got a separate ground wire. Uh, that runs over to the meter uh, box. So I can eliminate that if I want. Uh, or I can leave it in case I want to use it for something. That would probably be the best thing, just to leave it like it is. In case I want to use uh, a three-prong outlet for something else that has an actual ground on it. So anyway, we'll go ahead and put those three wires on this. And uh, get that done. And once we get this rewired, um, I can go ahead and start to... Well, I'll put it back together, but at least put it back over there where it's closer to it. And I've got to find some wire wiring to run for, for the, uh, obviously for the uh, power from there. And then I'm going to run a longer wire because I, I really don't yet know yet exactly where I'm going to put the uh, the box for the battery and uh, stuff like that. Kind of leaning towards uh, right above the uh, meter panel there. I think that would fit pretty good right there if I had a small project box there and just mount it to the uh, pegboard. So. That's a that's a that's what's one of the things I'm thinking about. Um, otherwise, um, like I say, I want to get this done, and I'll bring you back when I when I get more done with it. So stay tuned. All right, what I did was end up cutting off power that part of the power cord enough to uh, get me over to the switch. And if I'd have thought about it and was, knew I was going to do that, I could have probably just cut the power cord off and left everything soldered like it was. Been a lot easier, but live and learn. So, got to hook those back up now like they should be. And uh, we'll go from there. And I still have to uh, hook up the uh, uh, neutral and ground for the relay. So, I had to find a cord for that too. I think I can just use the regular lamp cord for that. There's not going to be a lot of uh, strain or stress or anything like that on that cord. And it's going to be a light duty anyway. So, all right. Just wanted to bring you back for that quick little update. Well, I'm back again. One more time. Uh, as you can see, I have the uh, ground wire, the uh, earth ground wire, all, all hooked up like they're supposed to be. The power wires, hot and neutral, are as they are supposed to be and soldered in well. The only thing now I have to do is add a another cord to this side. And like I said, that's just going to be a regular, I can use a lamp cord or anything for that. Uh, there's really nothing special about it. It's just got to power the relay is all it's got to do. So, i got to find a cord to do that with. And as much problem as I've had finding cords, <laughs> I'm not really holding out a lot of hope for it. But again, like I say, I'll find what I can. I may end this here and I may uh, go ahead and try to add that cord too. I kind of like to get this all buttoned back up and back attached and where it's supposed to be. As you can see, I've got the uh, light switch out. I don't have it. Uh, basically, what I'll do is this is the hot wire on this side. This is the switched wire. I'll add the um, 
power wire to this side, the hot wire. The neutral will go there and the ground will connect on this side. And that will be that. So, um, like I said, that should uh, take care of that. Again, like I say, I think I'm going to wait and come back again um, when I find the cord. Uh, I've been sitting in this chair for quite a while now, so <laughs> I think I need a break. So, thanks for watching. You guys have a great day.